While some people in Carmel say they're frustrated with the city's plans to redevelop a forest. So this area on Spring Mill Road near I-465 is part of the area that will be revitalized. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson shows us it's not sitting well with everyone. This is just part of the land the city of Carmel has approved for dozens of new homes to be built, an area some residents say needs to be left alone. It's very concerning. Around 18 acres of this wildlife off of 465 could soon be bulldozed. The Carmel Plan Commission is reviewing a design approval to build a residential neighborhood. The plan includes more than 100 new homes. It just doesn't make any sense. Nancy Tatum lives in the area. She isn't happy about it. These forests are few and far between here in Carmel, and the development is going to continue. But I want to ask the city council to leave the forests alone and build in the areas where there is already farmland. Jennifer Christie with the Indiana Forest Alliance says these century old trees are significant to the community and need to be preserved. It's an important forest right now in the age of climate change. It's important to keep all of our mature forests. There is nothing better than a forest ecosystem to sequester carbon and protect against the it, the dangerous effects of climate change, including heat and flooding. So it's also important for the neighbors that live in that area and the residents that live in that area because it is their only buffer for the busy interstate of 465. And so the noise pollution, the exhaust pollution, and all of the effects of 465 uh, certainly are going to be felt more if that forest were to be taken down. Tatum, Christie, and others have written letters to city council hoping to put a stop to the development. They argue residents weren't properly notified. I took these claims to the city. They tell me public meetings were held before the approval. As far as the trees go, Tatum says the solution is to plant new ones once construction begins. To me, that's heartbreaking. And then they say they're going to plant trees. What? <laughs> no amount of tree planting can replace century old trees. Working for you, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. The city of Carmel released a statement on the possible climate impact of this project. Here is a part of that statement. It says, quote, we feel it is important to understand that developing residential projects closer to retail centers within our city is much better for the environment than it would be to go further away from those retail centers, end quote. To file a complaint or contact Carmel officials, visit carmel.in.gov. The information is in the contact us section.